What's up, everybody? Graver here, and yes, another APOC is in the books. Uh, APOC 2023 was this past weekend, and it was kind of a first for the event because not only did we have APOC, but we also had BPOC as well, uh, which was a competitive event that happened on the Sunday following APOC. Unfortunately, I didn't get to BPOC, so I'm not going to have anything you know, related to that, and I apologize, but unfortunately, lots of things going on with life and stuff, and unfortunately, I just couldn't make that event this year, but I was at APOC, and I have to say, I had a blast. It was so much fun. The weather wasn't terrible. Um, I mean, it's August in New Jersey and in the woods, so it was still hot, but it wasn't as humid or muggy as... It has been in the past, and which I'm very grateful for. Uh, it did rain, which was always a great thing. But we also had a really good turnout. Um, I don't have an exact head count, but I know between one of the games we had like 30 plus on one side, 30 plus on another. And it was, I want to say, close to about 70 plus people or so, I think. Um, my numbers may be a little off, but it was close to it, because I think at one point, one of the teams, when as we were split, was like 34 to 36 or 7 or something like that, so, um, but yeah, it was a great event, it was a great turnout, um, had a bunch of people uh, come in from all over the place, we had the Canadians up out down from uh, Toronto, we had the gang from Maryland coming up with uh, Dart Sweep and Boomstick and a bunch of others. Uh, we had some Massachusetts people coming in because I think I saw uh, June there. Pretty sure. Um, but also surprisingly, uh, we and we also had Derek from Frontline Foam show up, which was a pleasant surprise. Um, so I actually got to meet him face to face, which was uh, pleasant. Uh, I mean, he seemed like a cool dude. He was very quiet, though, but, you know, to each his own. I'm not going to, you know, harp on it or anything like that. But, I mean, from the interactions we had, you know, he was cool. Uh, but, yeah, and also, I, you know, I'd be remiss of not mentioning uh, we had containment crew there as well. Uh, they weren't selling anything, but, honestly, it's always great to see Charles. Uh, also, Jackson was there. Um one of the last remnants of the Lawn Gnomes, which, you know, it's always great to see Jackson. He's a great guy. But, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gushing. I have not seen some of these friends in over a year, so it was really, really, really great to see everybody. Uh, got to catch up with a lot of people. Uh, also played a lot of good games. Uh, we did a lot of team, more team-based stuff. Not, I think there was maybe one one game under the 315 rule other than that it was just basically everyone played with infinite lives and it was just time uh we did some carpe we did domination i think there was a king of the hill and of course you had to end the night off with uh tank push but yeah it was a good event i got some good footage uh which i will be showing later on uh yeah uh, I didn't bring a lot of stuff this year, which, you know, was kind of nice that I didn't have to, like, fumble through a bag of, like, you know, seven or eight blasters and only using one the entire time. Uh, I brought my Swift, I brought the new X-Shot Long Shot, and, of course, my trusty Caliburn. Uh, the Caliburn I used maybe once or twice, and it was, of course, a, you know... It never fails, although I do have to do some maintenance on it because I am still having an issue with the pusher, but uh, that's just, honestly, I just need to take the time probably tighten that up, but it's just, I have so much on my plate, it's not, I haven't been able to just sit down, take that apart, and do proper maintenance on it, but it's something I'm going to have to get to. Uh, the long shot actually held up really well, and I was very happy with it. Um, Despite, you know, any of the humidity messing with the barrel and, like, dart fits and stuff like that, uh, the long shot held up all day, and it performed beautifully. Um, I did switch out my scope on it from the, um, the 2X scope that I had on it 
back to just a red dot, the raised red dot that was on my striker, but is now affixed to my, uh, is going to be affixed to the long shot as it's de facto sight. Uh, it worked out really well. Uh, my swift gave me issues, which really annoys me because, I mean, there's nothing but worker parts in there with the exception of the trigger, but the trigger was not the problem. The problem was dart feeding as usual. Um, I have the worker 550 centimeter barrel in there, and I guess it was the humidity, or uh, I, yeah, it must have been the humidity, like kind of messing with the darts or whatnot, because the darts were feeding okay, but every once in a while I would just get like the farty dart, and I had to remove the scar barrel because a couple of shots were actually just getting stuck in the scar, so I removed that and I just had the uh, barrel itself, so... Unfortunately, it wasn't really doing too hot, so that was only ran for one round, and then I retired it. Um, but yeah, over and all, it was a great event. Uh, thank you to uh, Ness and the United Nerf Ops team um, for running and hosting everything. You guys, as always, did a amazing job, and it was a great event this year. So... I'm going to uh, throw in some footage from the games that I did get. One was a domination game, and of course I got both rounds of the tank push because that is just such a great game. Um, I don't think I've ever actually participated in it because I've always recorded it, but one year I will participate in it and have someone else record it for me. But yeah, it was an overall great uh, event, so... Here's that footage now, and I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you at the end of that.
going to be it for this APOC wrap-up 2023 video. Um, hope you enjoyed the footage that I was able to get. Um, it was, as always, great seeing everybody who showed up to the event. Um, if I didn't get a chance to say hello or get a little selfie with you, um, I apologize. I was a little kind of scatterbrained throughout the whole event. Just, I don't know what was going on, but... If I missed you, I apologize greatly, um, but if I did get to see you, believe me, it was truly the highlight of my day. Um, but that's going to be it for this video, and as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. If you're at APOC, what did you think of it? Um, let me know. I love reading them all. And ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon, otherwise you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And we do have a P.O. Box, so if you want to send us some snail mail, love to read letters. Well, start. Just saying. But, again, thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time. Later.